people are spending so much time on their computers, on Zoom right now that uh, the postures around the neck are not so fabulous. So we're gonna do a simple release here for that whole area. You're gonna place one hand on your sternum just below your collarbones. Other hand is gonna go right over top. The second hand is the one that's doing the action. The first hand is just kind of your feeling hand. So take a moment to get through your layers of tissue. You wanna first imagine that you're getting through the skin layer. Then we have a layer of fascia that's behind the skin. Then we have a layer of fascia that covers your muscles. And that's where we wanna be, okay? You're gonna keep that contact the whole time. And with this second hand, it's like you're trying to draw those tissues down towards the floor a little bit, just enough that you feel a little bit of pull in the base of the neck there, base of the throat. And then from here, you're gonna tilt your head side to side and you'll feel it pull on one side and then the other. Pause in the center, turn your head side to side Keep the head turned to the right or the left, either way. Nod the head like you're saying yes. Pause. Turn your head in the opposite direction. Nod your head like you're saying yes. Pause. Come on back to center. Gently release the hand. Come away from one layer at a time, so do it nice and slow. And then come on over to one side. So we were on that sternum that's in the center. Now you're gonna go all the way to one side, right under your collarbone. Same idea, one hand over the other. Take your, to take your time to get through the layers. Get through the skin, the layer that's behind the skin, and the layer that's covering the muscles themselves. And then draw all that down towards the floor and keep it towards the floor the whole time. And we're gonna Tilt, we're gonna to tilt just to one side this time, tilting away from your hands and back to center. You'll feel a little bit of a pull, that's what we want, but you're not looking for a maximum major, major stretch. Just go to the beginnings of that sensation of stretch. Now you're gonna turn your head side to side. Again, how big you go depends on that small sensation of a slight stretch. And release that. Same thing on the other side. So find the collarbone, go just below it, one hand over the other. Take a moment to get through your layers. And rather than pushing your way in, try to feel, um, it would be as though you had a cold stick of butter on the counter. If you first put your hand on it, nothing would happen. It's like putting your hand on a brick. But if you just stayed there, the heat from your hand will start to melt the butter. It's a little bit similar here. So it's not that you're pushing with that second hand. You're, you're putting some intention into that hand, but you're not pushing. Allow the tissues to accept you in. And then draw the tissues down towards the floor, and we're gonna tilt the head away from the hands. A couple of times, again, you're not looking for your maximum stretch here. You're looking for a mild sensation. You may find you're able to go a little bit further on each one. And if so, that's great, do so. If not, that's fine. And then turn the head side to side. In both directions, you're again just looking for that slight sensation of a stretch. And I highly recommend doing all of these with the eyes closed. I've kept my eyes open to connect with you guys, but I highly recommend you do eyes closed. And then just let the hands come away and notice how you feel. Enjoy the rest of your day.